We are back kicking off a special series to help you declutter your life today. And over the next two days, we're going to help you clean up and clean out everything from your home to, yes, your relationships. Clea Shearer and Joanna Teplin are the master mastermind moms behind the Home Edit, a Nashville-based organizing business. Their celebrity devotees include Mandy Moore, Tiffany Thiessen, Emma Roberts, Reese Witherspoon, it goes on and on and on. Clea, Joanna, good morning. Thank, Thank you. you for having us. So nice to meet you. I follow you on Instagram and think I'm I sorry. wish my house looked <laughs> like theirs. First of all, you guys have three just top rules about organizing. What are they? Yes, I would say the three general rules. Number one, edit, edit, edit. The more you can purge, the less you actually have to organize. Okay. Number two, the things that you have to organize create categories based on like items. Okay. Pair them together. Number three, and this is really important, never let your home exceed 80% maximum capacity. You do not want to get up to 100%. You have no room to grow. Right. You so like when, it. when no. I open my closet and things fall out. No, right. That's a sign. That's, that's a sign. Not. Okay. Yes. Take it as a 80 sign. 80% full. That's a good yes. one. Yeah. Let's start in the kitchen. Yes. Okay. Our favorite spot. Yeah. So what are some of your tips here? Okay. So we always love to maximize the space by utilizing a door. Sometimes that's a closet door or a pantry door. In this case, it's a cabinet. And we actually hung this two-tier spice rack right on the door. So it's a great way to free up cabinet space. And the cabinet can handle that weight. Yes, yeah. absolutely. It can also sit on the shelf, but this is a Great way. It's also hangable. All right. Um, the tiered riser for cans are amazing. As are turntables. Oh, you can actually right. see what you have, unlike this cluttered, jumbled mess over yes, here. Right. It allows you to that. take advantage of the height and the width. Yes. Okay. Everything's visible and accessible. And then the under shelf basket is a great way to maximize the height of each shelf. So you have your turntables, but then you can use that negative space. And you're really using it. And now what about down here? So canisters, whether they're on the countertop, in a pantry, or whatever it may be, we like to use it for staple items. Okay. The things that you use all the time. Maybe it's your dry goods and pasta, cereals, snacks. And we get asked all the time, what do I do about expiration dates? Yes. You just cut it out from the box and tape it on the back. Oh, that's so smart. You can do that with cooking instructions too. Okay. My spices are like from the seventies. <laughs> What's this here? Down, um, oh yeah. Well, actually, so first, sometimes not all pantries are walk-ins, Yes. you know? So we actually use drawers all the time. And we love setting up like a snack station or a breakfast station, like a grab and go. It's so easy in the morning. You just right. take it and go. I love this. Right. I know it's your own it's, little mini bar. It's amazing. It, and if you fill up canisters or fill up your drawer, what do you do with the rest of the stuff? An overflow. Bin. All right. right. And it's a great place, yeah. too. If you go to the grocery store and you have too many things, you just stick it right in there. Okay. Yep. Now, over here is what? Oh, d yeah. Did we show the pantry, by the way? I think we had Kim Kardashian's pantry. Did you guys do her pantry? Chloe Kardashian? Chloe. Okay, <laughs> whatever. Oh, it's Chloe. Now, we look love at Kim that. Too. That is Chloe. <laughs> That's insane. Yes. We, okay. love all, we love all of them. Okay. Yes. All right. I just wanted to show that pantry. Yes. <laughs> all right. So let's talk about the bedroom. Okay, so let's talk about the closet. Um, so one of our favorite tricks is actually using a magazine divider to store clutches and small handbags. Oh. Yeah. It's a simple office solution, but it actually stands everything up and looks great. And you can easily grab it. Right. Okay. Um, and we also use a variety of specialty hangers in a closet. Right. We love a tote hanger or a tie hanger. Right. These but all your hangers aren't matching. I no. thought you had to match all your well, hangers. Well, but you like them purposes. to coordinate. Yes. Right. Okay. So different purposes are important. So the slim hangers are great for storing as many clothes as comfortably fit. And these blanket hangers are good for not just blankets, but linens or like chunky scarves. Okay. So let's move to the dresser. Oh, yeah. Okay. So. Now, come on. Whose drawers look like this? <laughs> well, I know. Chloe Kardashian's <laughs> yeah, drawers. Ours yes. are. Um, so for scarves that are lightweight, like cottons, linens, things like that, we actually love making these cute little scarf, like cinnamon, cinnamon rolls. rolls. Oh, right. How cute is this? Yes. Yeah, but how do you do it's it? It's a scarf bun. You just, you roll and twist, roll, roll and twist, twist, and then right. tuck it up the center. All right. Um, and then for t-shirts, we like the Marie Kondo method of file folding. Um, so I'm going to do one with you. Yeah, will you please show yes. me? Yes. I'm going to do one side and you're just going to follow along. All right. Okay. We, okay. we chose orange for today. Okay. Good. All right. Thank you. I so, love so, brand. Yeah. Today, today's so show brand. fold one side over and then make sure to keep your t-shirt sleeve And then now am I doing it all nope. the way? Oh. Just halfway. Do okay. exactly. Mm -hmm. There you mm -hmm. go. I really want to do this. Okay. okay. All right. Sorry. How's that? Great. Perfect. Great job. You're okay. hired. You're hired in your, in your downtime. Okay. So then what you do is you take the bottom and yes. bring it up three quarters of the way. Okay. Leave a little gap. Okay. Yes. And then I want you to take this bottom and meet the hem. Okay. Great. You're almost done. Mm -hmm. Then you tuck it over. And you have wow. a yeah. perfect little rectangle I know. that can be file folded. And now you don't have to reach in the bottom of your drawer. And you can actually see, you can what, see what you every have. Single one without disrupting the whole thing. And stack. you take it out and it's not going to make everything right. unfold. Yes. That's yes. right. Exactly. <sighs> this is I know. a game changer. It's, it's a simple system, but okay. I'm telling you it works. All right, let's go over to kid spaces because oh, that yes. is always a tricky spot. It is. Yes. Okay, so... If you're like me, um, messy art is a scary situation yeah. in any home. Um, so I like right. to contain it on a cart. You know, like I an want art cart. It's an Who art cart. Who doesn't want okay. an art cart? Everyone wants an art yes. cart. Yeah, you can keep it 
stored away in your closet under yes. lock and key if you want, and it only comes out when the glue and glitter is under supervision. Okay. I don't even allow glitter in my house, but if I did, right. it would be on this. Right. Okay. I mean, this is good for paint. Yeah, like things that you make. Right. Well, we wouldn't allow. No, right. we don't allow any of it. So but the it's, idea is slide it. it in, slide it out. Exactly. exactly. Out of yeah. sight, out of mind. And you can supervise. Okay. And so another thing we end up dealing with all the time is easel paper, craft paper, butcher block paper. So we actually use a lacquer trash can or an acrylic trash can, anything that looks nice, to just store it upright, put it in a corner, and it looks nice in your space. And okay. it takes up no space. Yeah. I mean, this is like such a good space saving solution. Seems like you guys are into the vertical thing. We, we love, love it. the vertical. Yes. Any space we can take up, yeah. we will do it. Okay. Um, so for over here, for art supplies that you don't mind your kids having access to, yes. like coloring, drawing supplies, we love a divided turntable with just some mason jars. Where do you get something like that? I like that. The container, uh, the store. container store. <laughs> okay, all right. I <laughs> but, you know, but the mason jars you can actually just reuse from what you have in the house. All right. And whenever we have these kind of drawing supplies, we always like to have any kind of, like, bin that you can just throw your discards. Right, yes. like, what happens when your kid does one line? You don't want to throw out the whole page. The paper, exactly. So they can reuse it, it the That's next basically day. my whole closet. They can reuse it the next day. <laughs> All right, last but not least, you know we love a rainbow, but it's not just for aesthetics. It's not just because it makes us happy. This is actually a system. Color coordination is really intuitive for kids, and they know exactly where to put things away when they're done and find it when they need right, it. Right, like okay. make it a game. Like it's right. Who doesn't want to put something away when it looks like that? Right. I so mean, you're, so yeah. rather than just like all books and all cars, you're just saying organize by the colors and the kids will get into it. They do. I mean, okay. yeah. at least the kids that we've trained. Yes. <laughs> I'm send them to our house. I'm sold on it all. I'm taking it all home. And you with me. Thank you so much, Leanna. Thank you so really much, Leanna. Appreciate it. If you want the inside scoop on the Home Edit team's celebrity home makeovers, go to today.com. It's really cool. And tomorrow we're going to show you how to handle and clean up those toxic relationships in your life.